Well, now that my stomach is full and with great food from the grub and great food from the picnic, in the backyard, of course, and great conversation thanks to Jerry Taylor, it was time to do some walking to work everything off. So I headed down to the Gullah Festival. Every year and every month of May, the celebration of the Gullah culture happens at Beaufort's Gullah Festival. The sights and sounds are explosive. The weekend-long festival showcases the African history and heritage of South Carolina's low country Gullah culture with a delicious blend of West African, European, and Native American cultures. There's music, dancing, singing, and lots and lots of vendors selling everything from shea butter to black soap. Of course, there's even more food to eat, rhythmic sounds on CDs, artwork, masks, you name it. They probably have it. And it all comes together from all over the world, right here in Beaufort. On my walk through Vendor Valley, I met this striking woman from Senegal, West Africa. Her name was Yazil. I stopped by for a short little chat. And how long have you been here? Uh, America, 10 years. And do you like it? Yeah, I'm glad. Well, great. Well, thank you so very much. You're welcome. Can I get a shot of your outfit? And as I continued to move through the crowd, I heard the sounds of drums in the distance. Following the beats, I stumbled upon a group rehearsing for a performance. I didn't want to interrupt their practice time, but I noticed tribal scars on one young man's face and wanted to know, where did they come from? You're, you're so, very so far BC, I can't even say. But travelers came from Egypt and Ethiopia, that area. And uh, not really Ethiopia had their own thing going on, but from the Egypt area. Traveled down with a couple of other high priests and went to Yoruba land, Nigeria. Started Oyo, started the Yoruba speaking people, started the ancestor worship, started the markings. And, you know, from there, from Nigeria, it's like in Ghana. So their spiritual affiliation was Yoruba, and the sounds. The drums and the chants began to sound like music. A preview of what's to come. The next day, there was nothing but more music, more dancing, and then more dancing, and more music. It was really nice seeing everyone come together and just have a good time. And then the African dancers took to the stage. <laughs> 